My name is Sally Friedman. I'm 55, live in Detroit, and recently recovered from measles. I need you to hear my story, the Detroit measles story. In early March, we were informed by the county officials and local media that a visitor to our community with measles had been to several synagogues. No special instructions were given. Two weeks later, I had what seemed like the flu, but as I'm fully vaccinated, neither I nor my doctor had any reason to suspect I had measles. However, two days later, I had a rash and sores in my mouth. My doctor immediately called the health department and they came to my house within an hour. What I learned from the county nurse was shocking. In 1957, it became standard to provide a single MMR injection. It was not until 89 that they mandated the necessary second MMR. Not only that, they had not perfected the vaccine until sometime in the 70s. I and most of the 41 others from our community who came down with the measles had only received a single first generation vaccine. We had been exposed to measles believing we were fully immunized when in actuality we were not. Before we knew it, we had a first wave of 20 people in our community with measles, almost all of them between the ages of 30 and 62. While a few had a mild case, for most of us, it was a brutal three weeks. High temperature and zero appetite for a week straight. Several of us had pneumonia, bronchitis, hearing impairment, vision impairment, which went on for two weeks. We could not read the basic DMV eye chart causing great concern. It was painful, horrifying, and much worse than when people used to get the measles as kids. The most frightening thing was the thought that if one person gave it to 20, how many had the 20 of us given it to? Many of us had been going around town to Megillah reading and Purim Sudas, contagious with the virus and not even knowing it. Could the 20 of us have given it to 400? Baruch Hashem, the health department, our Hatzalah, and Vada Rabbanan got into high gear and created a comprehensive and rapid response of mass education and immunization. Within days, over 2,000 people received free immunizations conveniently provided by our county health department right at the Young Israel. Motivated by the crisis, there was nearly 100% participation of the people in the at-risk age range. As a result of these Herculean efforts, Baruch Hashem, only 21 additional cases have been reported. One of the most important concerns to bear in mind is that the Orthodox community is extremely and uniquely vulnerable to an outbreak because simply we go to the synagogue multiple times a day and we travel extensively both domestically and internationally for holidays and family celebrations. Our reality is much different than the general population and therefore our response must be different. We can't afford to wait for a full-blown crisis. To prevent a chil Hashem and a terrible health crisis Orthodox communities from coast to coast must do what our community did. We must preemptively create community-wide education and immunization programs in every city. We beg you, if you're between the ages of 30 and 62, get a second MMR as soon as possible. Everybody else should check with their doctor to see if they need their immunization tested. This is a time that communities must come together to ensure our safety.